Hello, adventurers. Thank you for following my preparation of my summer Transamerica bicycle ride. I want to take this video to introduce the bicycle I'll be riding. I owned two bicycles, neither of which I was confident would manage a 3,800 mile trip. One was a discount department store hybrid bike, and the other was a fixed gear bike with rear pedal brakes and no front brakes. I figured like most people I'd be doing the ride on a standard upright bike and to start saving up for the reconstructive surgery I would need on my butt at the end of the trip. I started reading blogs of Trans-American cyclists and came across an excellent one from Mike Evans. He's the founder of Grubhub who did the ride on a beautiful Easy Racer TI Rush that looked like a chopper motorcycle to me. I'd seen these occasionally, but I thought they were just for elderly riders or people with back problems, and certainly they must be full of limitations, or else they would be more prevalent. I didn't even know at the time that they were called recumbent bicycles, or that recumbents came in a variety of flavors, like short wheelbase, long wheelbase, with under seat steering or above seat steering, or tadpole trikes. The more research I did, the more I warmed up to the idea of doing this trip on a recumbent. What Mike Evans rode is considered a long wheelbase recumbent, since the front wheel is in front of the pedals. With the rider's head facing naturally forward, it puts the rider in the most upright position, which is important to me to enjoy the view of America, and none of the rider's weight goes on the handlebars. I actually reached out to Mike Evans, and he answered all my questions via email about his ride planning and decision to do this on a recumbent bicycle. And he sold me on doing this on a long wheelbase recumbent instead of any of the other recumbent options. Besides the comfort factor, which is huge, recumbent bikes are great for touring and luggage capacity. You don't need to wear padded shorts. You can ride in street clothes. The downsides are size. These things are long. They're inconvenient to park and difficult to transport. They're more expensive than an upright bike because there's more parts and raw materials that have to go into them. They can be heavy and they are a greater challenge when ascending since you can't stand up on the pedals off the seat and use your body weight to propel you upwards. But by this point, I'd made up my mind to look for a long wheelbase recumbent. I would love to do it on the same bike that Mike Evans used, but the Easy Racer TI Rush is a $6,000 piece of machinery. I started doing searches on Craigslist and Bent Riders Online, which is a forum dedicated to recumbent cycling, and they have an active classifieds channel. I came across a used Rans Stratus 700 from a knowledgeable seller in Phoenix. Rands operated out of Kansas and is no longer in business, but they were a solid mid-tier recumbent manufacturer. They made their Stratus line for several years, but the Stratus 700 was only manufactured in 2009, and it retailed at $1,700. It's called the 700 due to its 700C wheel size used in the back. The front wheel is 20 inches. The bike that I was looking at saw very few miles in its first 14 years. The frame still sparkles and there isn't a speck of rust to be seen anywhere. I like the gray, red, and black color scheme and style-wise I think it aged well. It was kitted out with some water bottle cages and a rear rack. I scored the bike for $500 and was more than happy with what I got for the price I paid. For those of you who enjoy bike specifications, the crank set is a Truvative Alita 170mm with 52 39 30 chain rings and an 11 to 34 cassette. The shifters are SRAM X5, but I replaced the grip twist shifters with SRAM trigger shifters that I activate with my thumb after purchasing it. Prior to adding any accessories, luggage, or me, the bike weighs in at 31 pounds. All bikes need a name, right? Especially one that's going across the country. And this one came to me easily. It's the Stretch Limo. I've ridden hundreds of miles on the Stretch Limo in the past couple of months and have confidence in its ability to serve as my trusty steed across America this summer.